Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Today we're taking a look at the Awe A920 Bluetooth headphones. These are part of what I would consider to be the entry level headphones. Uh, what I mean by that is typically 20 to 40 dollars is what you're going to get uh, as far as an entry level Bluetooth headphone set. And what comes with that is typically a couple different pairs of little ear tips, charging cable, uh, and then some audio quality that's okay, you know, it's certainly not disappointing, nothing crazy. And then same with build quality, it's plastic, different colors, different shapes. Um, these guys actually surprised me a little bit. The audio quality is definitely a little bit above average for the price range, so good job there. Uh, and the same with the build quality, it's got some metal in it and some neat little magnets that kind of help stick it together so it doesn't get lost. I really like that, so let's take a look at it in some more detail. So if you look at the headphones themselves, I'd say they're a pretty good looking pair of headphones, especially for the price. Touching them, you can definitely tell that they're metal, which is nice. You don't normally get metal build out of something of this price range, especially Bluetooth headphones. So it just kind of helps add to the, the value factor, the I'm getting more for my money type thing. And then there's a little red pinstripe that goes around it, just kind of add like a little contrast to the look. Looks pretty good, I'd say. What is neat is if you put the two ends together, they will clasp together. That's because there's a magnet in there, which is really neat. It's one of those things that you don't really think of having a use for until you either accidentally find one or you kind of see somebody else do it. And I had that happen to me. Um, I was doing homework or making a video or whatever I was doing while wearing these to try them out. And then when I took them out of my ear, gravity just kind of made them drape over my shoulders. And then eventually the two ends met and they clipped together. It's kind of like an accidental fail safe so you don't lose your headphones. So that's really neat. And the only real productive use I can find for these, aside from maybe like sticking them on your fridge or something weird, you know just messing with somebody but i actually do like the little magnetic attachment there i think that's a cool valuable addition on the left hand side there are your volume controls volume up volume down and then your play pause in the center um, as well as the battery is inside this little compartment here in a standard micro usb charger this isn't my favorite implementation of this um i know the battery has to go somewhere the volume controls have to go somewhere uh, the only reason i say that is because i like to work out with my headphones and because this being here kind of dangling um, exists, I can't really work out with these because just the weight and you know gravity tends to kind of pull this out of my ear when I'm working out. So then my left headphone comes out of my ear and then that ends up pulling the right one out of my ear and that just leads to frustration. So as far as the actual quality of the headphones go, it's really nice. That's just not my favorite way to do the battery and the volume controls and the charger. A lot of the ones that I've seen will put both, uh, both actual earbuds will be a little larger and will either have some battery in it or one side will have battery in it. And then the other side will have the volume controls as well as a charger. And I like that a lot better because it helps stick in your ear a lot nicer. But again, if you don't work out, that might not be a big deal to you because in day-to-day -day use, it's fine. So as far as specs are concerned with these guys, uh, it's got Bluetooth 4.0, that's pretty standard, honestly. It's got a minor noise reduction rating, and that's nice, it just kind of muffles the outside world, helps you get into your zone a little bit. It has what they call explosive bass. Now, I'm hesitant to even talk about this in the first place, because I think just blowing up the bass in any of your songs is kind of stupid, and it ruins the song. But I will say, when compared to other headphones in the price range, they do have noticeably better bass. They also have noticeably better audio quality in general. So I think it's just a matter of a, a higher quality driver in the first place, and that kind of is able to increase the overall quality of the sound itself. I don't think you should have to worry about necessarily blowing up the bass in your song with these. It'll be fine. Uh, it's not gonna ruin the quality of the music, because that can definitely happen. There's an estimated music playback time of about four hours. It's about in line with what I got, three to four hours of playback. And then talk time of six hours, same thing here. Um, I haven't talked for six hours, but I did mixed usage of probably two, three hours of uh, music playback. And then I drove about an hour and I was on the phone with them then. You know, about four or five hours, pretty reasonable, I think. You can actually connect them to two devices, which is nice. A lot of them will actually make you disconnect from the first one in order to connect to the second one. So it's nice just to be able to switch back and forth conveniently versus having to go through the whole process over and over. So to kind of wrap things up here with these guys, I think they're definitely worth your money. I don't really have any major complaints. The build quality is definitely nicer than any other ones you'll find for the money. Audio quality is the same thing, definitely a little bit nicer than what you'll find. I can't use them all the time because I like to work out with my headphones and having that volume control that's kind of heavy, pulling down while I'm working out, running, playing basketball, whatever it is, they fall out of my ears. But that's just my use case. If you're just looking for something for casual use, these are definitely something that you should consider. I really don't have too many complaints. Uh, they feel like they should be probably 40 to $50, so the fact that they were able to go down to around 30, that's impressive to me. Overall, 
thumbs up for me if you're looking for Bluetooth headphones. Give these guys a shot. That's all. Thanks for watching. Um, remember, if you got any questions, just let me know. I'll answer them as quick as I can. If you like this video, do me the favor, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see some more in the future. And uh, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.